pretty much more than this. But look, they, they need to do something. They need to do something. The pressure on Universe coming in deep here as they're trying to just find a way to keep their barracks alive. Gunner going in deep, finds a little stash of creeps there, which are doing so much to buff up this team. Is able to take them down, but their barracks are gone. Armel comes in from behind, gets the mega creeps, and now looking for some heroes as well. NIP, they need to find a miracle to turn this game around as they have lost just about everything. Skidder trying to do something, but he dies, buys back. You're just fighting in an empty base right now. PPD playing ring around the tower for not much reason. Can they find two? They've got the chains out onto both on the back lines, but their towers are just falling. This last track at 25 is doing way too much. Skidder has to back himself off. PPD as well falling low. They're just standing in front of their faces and melting their bases. They're getting so low here. They try to get Gunner with the combo. They don't get him, but Slark certainly will. Universe a little bit too late with the call. Can they bring down this Slark for a 50? is stolen Aji as in comes a black hole BPD and by the will both fall matter yeah it's over feeling like I mean they might still be able to hold on they're getting this super farm slark to blow up the less track but still keeping him alive look at the oh, heels the coils. look at the heels what is this what is this even for such a long time Gabby finally dies the throne is exposed Armel get to work but NIP they're all up right now can they actually make this defense they bring down Armel they bring down KP five for the five man back hole Tim's he's doing it he's ending the game all by himself fine he's Says, I will do it myself and Tim's. You know, all three of them with a good coil, and then all of a sudden it feels like the last seven minutes of tri laning has gone, you know, down the crapper. Yeah, this is so interesting. Your puck is lower level than the OD, but yet winning by a thousand net worth. We oh, have nice Fisher blocky, and that's going to be able to keep them from retreating. Mickey has to turn and fight, but it's not going to be able to get anything off before he gets down. TNC not going to be able to chase down Insane yet, but still and just being so successful and controlling the map. He's like, I might as well take advantage of all this space that we have. Yeah, I mean, Venno and Puck are just unkillable at this moment, unless Venno oversteps, but unless that happens. Taiga not quite in that Walrus punch, thanks to the Dream Call coming out from RML, but a point for it from Mickey. He wants to be able to win this fight, but can they actually do it with the KP? Mew's right out the Poison Nova hammer drop, but not quite finishing off any of these heroes. Boxy coming in fast, does have the uh, battle hunger speeding him up, but nice no. war block. Hey, easy, making no. see him, but they can't kill him. He gets away to the fountain, he goes all of TNC retreat, except for Armel, who has nothing to fear, especially since Liquid problem. can now take that opportunity to smoke up. Can they get the opening they need? Can they run into Gabby and burst him down? They're gonna run into March. Not the best target, but it is a pickoff nonetheless. And he slips away with a force staff coming out from KP, and they do manage to get some control onto Mickey for a while. Now they jump in with the Chronosphere, and they can't really protect Mickey at all in this situation. It's is being burnt down by Armel in the back lines. They finish up the supports. Taiga falls as well inside that Chronosphere. Boxy will manage to TP out, but no buyback. Needs to show a little bit of teeth here. They need to show that they can actually step to and get a kill. And that's going to be leading out on KP. KP does get tossed away. A beautiful play by oh Armel. Bite his time. Waited until Tim's TP'd in before he blinks in to save KP's life. That was just beautiful. Oh, that was so well done. And now Vampire's got to be careful because Gabby with the Fissure, oh, the Fisher follower after Fisher, like how do you stop this? They go for the four step. He does manage to get the time lock away. Excess Vampire hits a point blank arrow onto Tim's. Now Dream is holding on to his BKB for now. Wants to make sure he's not getting baited out here. The Sun Strike gonna miss, but March probably still to die here. The Battle Hunger is also taking out on him. They do manage oh, they to, to Dream, Dream. finish off Dream. Now with Dream dead. Oh, Gabby knows it is fighting time. Once he is dead, he's gonna be able to jump forward, get the kill onto the Marana. Controlled up by the Axe and FNG's Ice Path to follow, but it's not that much of a deal. After all, he can turn into this Earthshaker and jump a billion range, ignores the Jakiro, goes straight for GPK's Invoker, now turns back into the Invoker. Now he's going to chase over to the Axe, who's like 2,000 units to the left, but hey, there's Gabby. He's everywhere. <laughs> okay, that's too much. 1,000 range from the Fisher. Smoke up from TNT, he's gonna run into FNG, FNG does manage to get the ice path, they also have the arrow follow up, are they gonna go for the call follow up on top of that, now the Chronosphere on three, but they do not have control of Gabby, Gabby is immediately going for the kill on a GPK, but he misses it, and thanks to Moonlight, they're finally he's gonna doing it. get away, and Gambit will win the fight, they not only get those three, but TNC, well, oh, right. oh Gabby's coming back in, he does manage to get the two minutes in with the Fisher, trying to go for Dream, Dream, hoping for a bash, time 
walks away a little bit farther, and Chan Totem straight up in the air for his death. Oh, oh so wrong. He's so much damage. He can 1v5. No, he's going to 1v5 them. Don't do it to him. Armel, he's, he's straight he's up trying to do help. It. Gabby's just going to be able to get that kill on Shotzlo as well. That's the three cores dead. Gabby got every single one of them. Now he'll go for the kill on Excess Vampire inside of his face. Are they going to call it? Like, that was literally 1v5. His entire team died. There was a buyback, but like... It's one way to establish some dominance. They do have a uh, level 25 coming in very soon for this Faceless Void. And that is massive if you manage to backtrack an Enchant Totem hit. From the Morph, like, call it. They're going to be able to find the initiation on Armel, who's super tanky. The Meteor's going to be able to bring down about three quarters, but oh, then he's going to be easy. Jumps forward, Dream. What are you trying to do? But he's already been tossed up, being chased stunned up. Does manage to get up his BKB, though. He's going to continue to try and get this kill on Armel. They tried four with the Cataclysm, with all the damage coming out from Dream. It's still not even close to being enough. Armel is sitting at a very healthy 50%, while Gabby is going for the back line. He's already managed to finish up the Rana. Looks like he should be able to get shots as well. No, for Sam gets him back into the fountain. Dream with no Chronosphere to be able to fight Gabby. He needs to pray for chain stuns here, and he's not going to be able to get it either. He does have a blind bag, but Gabby, oh, a man to dodge on the call from Shotzilla. Just the cherry on top for TNC as they just whop on Gambit. They establish very clearly that this was an 80-20 victory. Ooh. You really need a BKB on this Ember Sphere. Once, uh, once he gets nullified too, it's going to be like a mini Doom. When he gets on top of you with the blink and the silence, mm -hmm. you can't get away from that. Uh, that's going to make Limp's life even harder. Is it going to make he just got the 40 damage tower the long so way? It's going to be a big initiation. They're going to start off onto the ogre while there's Gabby going straight for that Ember Spirit every single there's time. Literally nothing the mini do. Doom Ember Spirit can do nothing. Limp is just dead and he has no buyback. Nico Baby's going to lose his first life here. 33 is going to be forced to a fire time soon. There's the black hole to make sure Nico Baby has no chance to be able to do anything in a second. Second life, and that's just it. And it feels like it's been over for a solid 15 minutes. TNC shut down, but they do have the radiance now. Picked up by the Wraith King, his farm's gonna go up quite a bit. Armel coming up here. He doesn't want them to just continue to farm. He's gonna at least pop the ulti onto the Abaddon. Just want to be able to keep him from retreating. They'll kill him after the borrowed time if they hold. Oh, well, yeah, he's gonna get out of here. He's definitely dead. It looks like Hanskin's gonna be fed on by the Night Stalker. They don't have a son to be able to Tombstone save him. Position now the Tombstone position as well to be able to slow down all these heroes. But it's definitely dead. Looks like Nico, baby, he may be dying twice here. Lim's gonna try and help him out. 33 with the buyback coming into this fight. But honestly, it looks like TNC, they've hit their timings and they look like they're too strong. Slide of fist after slide of fist, but TNC don't slow down. They're gonna be able to finish off Nico, baby. This is gonna be a dieback for 33 as well. Lim is get out of gonna here. be chased away. He's not gonna be able to find a single kill. He Look sat there, chase. casting sleight of fist after sleight of fist. This isn't even the peak of your strength. You could wait a minute and 15 seconds, that's all. But they won this tier three real badly. The Fire Blast multicast. Oh, they are going to be able to get the duel coming out from the Legion Commander onto Hanskin, turning out some of that damage. Not quite enough to be able to win the duel, though. Hanskin eventually falls. The Black Hole! Oh, Black Hole! <laughs> Tim, he's finally here! And he nails a four-man Black Hole to be able to win the fight. Is Gabby going to be able to chase down one and two? Ember Spirit, though, gets away from that silence. He does get some sleight of fist with the buybacks coming out from a line. Maybe they can win the second part of this fight where they can chase down some heroes, but got to be careful No ages or anything like that. They lose it in the previous engagement and they don't have black hole So he's gonna jump in with a crippling fear immediately oh, getting on top of the, the call down on everybody the call down on all of these heroes with the duel on top of that The Amber Spirit is immediately gone. He's gonna buy back Armel almost dying in this fight though Nico baby with his BKB He needs he's another hit. So he gets the rate fire blast for the heals coming up. They're trying to body block him another press the attack coming out and now he's slowed down Nico baby Limp is going He's for not gonna be able to get the kill Limp Get him with the slide of fist He's been stunned up. He's been silenced. He's not gonna get him at all, Armel. And the rocket flies the other way. Wall. And now they're gonna turn back and finish up the rest of Alliance without their gyrocopter because they don't need him. Gabby, he's actually gonna run out of mana here, so his damage may run out, but not fast enough as they're gonna be able to finish off at least the Wraith King, chasing away Hanskin, maybe turning back for 33. March, the captain kind of needs some help here, but KP high ground during this next night time. Because it is a it. bit of a risk, right? They really like going high ground. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I think if they had pipe, they would do it. Well, they should have it in time.
They've got a DD rune on their Night Stalker. This could also signal something. Pipes rolling out, as is the mech. So those are actually really big team fight items. I think okay. you're right. But first, there's going to be pickoff on Gabby potentially here with the Chronosphere. Once again, the freeze. Let him get his BKB off. off. A beautiful one. Now he's going to get off his BKB. Turned around with the Silence. The and it's is so good. Now with the control up on this faceless Void. He's so done for. They're going to be able to get the Void to slow down another two heroes. Get those out. The Dark Rift too far away to bail anybody of Gambit out of that situation except for the Underlord. Armel wasn't Lord. even there. Yeah. Your most farmed hero wasn't even there. GPK out, force a bad fight from TNC, and look at how quickly that tower goes down. Jesus. They're gonna have to do Excellent. something about this inside the vice. Do they have the four staff to protect him? Of course they do. They're gonna reset things. Reset it again. Slow him down. FNG just making sure he does manage to have the pro strike going up. Oh, he's gone! Oh, just wipe that gyrocopter who does have a buyback dream is gonna try and go and kill somebody here but he just can't man fight anybody gabby is actually out life stealing any of dreams damage divine rapiers tims is gonna take one of them and the buybacks well four staff away are saying he come around the back quincy crew wrap in on the kp the duel's gonna come out astro will stop that from happening which means the arrow will miss march will still go down purge to slow down the chase but now the sleep into the slit kp getting low gets out the guardian angel only on himself right now though they're gonna move there so oh. drops him straight down they'll turn around free dead on the side of quincy crew and it looks like it's gonna be four svg dusted up can't run away quick enough the arrow will not change the outcome but the sleep into the tp maybe just about one hit was needed armel could not find it can they catch him assess He's got no leaps left. He's got so no this should be goodbye, my old friend. Slow. Yeah. TP, this one won't work. There you go. Where are you now, haters? Agonims on Gabby. Look at I mean, the network. It, it, yeah, it just feels like these moves alone have slowed down the game in conjunction with that Axe, right? It's the, they're always worried. Where is Tim's? He could be close by. And you can see it by the way that Quincy crew are moving a lot closer together now. KP, they're taking a lot of damage away Scout from him. Scout they are indeed KP down to half HP, but the Astral Protect, Armel, BKB Yabar. comes up. You are, and the Purge is there, chasing from the Remnant on Sumail. Goes in, Siren chains out, now the Silence, they jump on top of him. Gabby, the BKB, is going to run him through. Four stuff to get him away, but the Tornado, Tim's on point with the backstab, will set up the kill on the Ember, who will fall. He does at least drag one down with him into the grave, but the buyback comes out from Omni Knight. The Jewel's going to be there, hits the arrow, but they lose the Legion. Tips will be thrown out of Sumail in the meantime. Because he can't do anything. Dead Tim's for 40 seconds than down. Tim's He's vision. straight into sentry, though. It's worth his life. Oh. Sadis Eclipse. Armel gets them low. Moves in. SVG will fall. MSS triggers the shrine. Too late to save his support. But the buybacks come in. They're at the shrine now. The turnaround opportunity. Astral's going to come out. Trying to stop that damage deal. But they're stunned for so long. Armel will retreat. The damage is on the Razor. But now he's being pummeled down by Gabby. Gets him low. One hit. Turns around with the whip. Trying to bring them down. At least get rid of KP. But no. He heals up. He stays alive. SVG. He just bought back. Will fall as well. And Sumail. He only just got back in his silence top. Can't do anything. As a team wipe, they obliterate the side of Quincy Crew and TNC take the lead. Man, we doubted them so hard, but TNC, they show up even with the lineup that has. They've opened up the base. And now they want to see it out. Duel comes in, Blade Mail as well, but they jump the back line. The Nullify goes out, the Silence as well. He can't do anything. Ember's going to fall to this. Sumail dead for 65 seconds. Insta buyback comes out, but Legion is already dead. He's done all he can. Buys back, but the duel's now been used and it didn't delay anything. They'll calm down for a moment. They did use the GA. They'll hunt him for more, though. Saber Light down to half HP already. Uh, split it through. Silence jumping. Gabby, he's trapped them all. Silence Clips gets dropped down. That's going to be a die back on Legion. Follow through for more. C Mail will stay alive. That's a the rampage. BKB, Armel, he gets the rampage. The GG comes out. He won't get the double, but he asserts dominance over the side of Quincy Crew. Yeah, what a great performance there by TNC. I cannot believe that they actually take this game after what a rough start that they had. You're into RP. It's gonna be close, moves in, look for the opportunity, but gets stunned up with the dragon tail on the way in. Now the BKB, Nefret fun up against this, moving across, need to get a hands on RP, Wish still picks up the Aegis now, running through the Dragon Knight, goes down, Wish trying to run in. Has got that Aegis, but it's gonna run out soon, Boogie has no HP left to work with, and he's surrounded on all sides, the Sinister Gaze is there, one big crit, one more tap, and your TA is dead. Man, it always looks like TNC are not there on time, it always looks like they are a few seconds too late, and they are, they are too late to take down uh, Roshan and Steel Ages and Cheese, but they managed to do better. They take down the whole side of Indian Rain with only Mirana surviving. Really completely online now. Necro up in 16 seconds. They're coming to fight. Tim's 
As well as Marsh near the shrine is being burned by GPK already because he needs the mana enough to take this fight. So he looks over towards Marsh. They look at Sun Control, so there's no hand of God. No, he'll actually be getting it off. They vortex it back in again. And the Rubik picking up the OD once again. Armel being a priority target, but Ligon's in the back lines. Yeah. Right on top of Dream. They close the distance. The OD will also drop the hammer down. The damage is good. GA is slowing down the damage output, but it ain't stopping it. Drow and Ogre down. Omni Knight will join them as well, but they want more. GPK does not have a lot of mana to work with. Legion Commander has the movement speed as well as the duel but cannot catch him before he gets into the base easily affordable armel setting a trap looking for dream dream blinding lighter back up again that forced him to walk straight past armel now the mail strike able to connect with the bash oh. into the follow-up arrow they try and force up him away with the pitcher block but now your juggernaut is down his eyes fire back up but TNC, the trap is sprung, and Gabby goes in, hexing over wow. on the Earthshaker. He can't afford to die. Arrow flies forward. He'll connect over an FNG. Vampire needs to get the hell out of here, but he's been pulled back in by the Willow Wisp. He's not ready for that. He doesn't have mana. He's completely dry. So good. And the song of the Siren, they look towards him, but they don't want him. They want the bigger target of the Manda Style. Dodging out from Juggernaut. He's got a chance to fight into the Omni Slash, pushing around. They pull back Templar Assassin. FNG tries to keep him in this fight, but Lashrak just doesn't have enough life to survive. Or maybe he does. When the shields are up, they can go back and reset. Still no kills coming for so, such huge abilities, but the Agro Slam is able to connect, but not enough damage. Nice Talker just consumes the cheese, gets all the life back again. ES will now buy back. And the fortification kicks in, Gambit doing everything they can to keep their melee racks alive, but they don't have their big hitters anymore. The Fissure tries to create space, KP goes straight at the top of it. It's a good split up from GPK, using that Pulse Nova to get some damage out. Maybe finally KP can die, no on 79 HP. He'll walk away and Gambit will GG call it. It was the slowest march to victory, but it was methodical by TNC. Jumps him, takes the tier three tower. The smoke are trying to attempt to wrap around. This should be the last fight for Gambit. We'll see how much power they've got. They focus on the Alchemist. They know he doesn't have an Aegis Immortal, but Gabby puts himself between Gambit as well as the rest of TNC. Lifestealer try to get in the back lines to go after Tim's, but the Moonlight Shadow, they just hide under the cover of Invis. Their sentry wall is down everywhere, but Bristol back, he's being sinister gaze into the fountain, and then he just bashes FNG down under the cover of BKB. Turns attention towards GPK. The arrow! Such a long stun over on the Lifestealer. Concoction will follow it. Up. Torrent will not create anywhere near enough space. The soul bind is out, but Kunkka can't run away from this. BKB Darmel, he will stand toe to toe with the entire Gambit team. But there's so much strength in this TNC lineup. They'll finish the objective-based gaming. They'll take the bottom racks and they'll take the series. The 